a quick update on some more plants. Uh, this is on the other side of the house. That is a, a seven pot dougla. It's been watered so it's looking a little wet and down. Got fried here in the corner. As you can see, beat up a little bit from the weather and hardening off, but it'll do okay. Another seven pot dougla. Another CNG20800. Uh, he fantasy beat up a little bit some bugs on it but I mean we're in coastal Georgia so we have a lot of bugs poison snakes spiders I mean you name it alligators we got it all man uh, a few little bugs but it'll be all right it's not ahi I said aji ahi fantasy and a red boot jalokia. Uh, people ask me, Stephen, why, why, why do you even, even take down and grow some red boots? And the whole reasoning behind it is because when you're going to play around with crosses and things like that, you generally want to cross things that are stable and genetically sound. Uh, and, and boots are a great, great base to cross with other, other varieties because they're already pack a wicked punch and a different slow lingering burn so when you cross it with another variety that's not a boot or a boot related like a scorpion or something else you, you, you get a, a, a different you get combinations of burns and 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 different things like that so you know and you know uh, I like I like boots and other different things too uh, dishes and powders and stuff like that so you can never go wrong with them also known NK as, you know, the ghost jelly, but, you know, all us pepper nerds, man, we, we all call them boot or boot jalokia. Another boot. Next is some jasmine I got going. It's always nice to come out here and work on chilies and have a nice fragrant smell going on, so. Eh, that's you bush. And I got another wild, I don't even know, man. Build up. Cat 469. Real unique, fuzzy. Look. Different than a lot of your other chili plants. And this I really like is a chili teppin uh, amarillo yellow. And it's already a. Uh, Having little pods, so it's gonna be nice for for a, a powder and flake. I'm really excited about that. To thank my buddy Christopher Phillips, uh, he, he's sent me a bunch of different stuff to to grow and try. So really appreciate that. CNG two four three six zero. It's another. I can't remember if it's a wild or not, man. You know when you start growing hundreds of varieties. Um, you start to, you know, have a notebook, but it's starting to have little, little, tiny, tiny pods. And, uh, yellow, uh, lava. Yes, there is a yellow lava. Um, it's a Judy's Pepper Lovers variety, and you got a red, yellow, and chocolate. I do have the other ones, um. They're hardening off and being ready to be planted either in pots or in a garden. I'll get to those in another video. Um, it's a red boot in an air pot. So we're going to see how we do. And, and it's already got a pot on there. A little bud. I'm going to knock it off. Um, we're going to see how, how they do in ground on this side versus in air pot. What I mean by air pot is this fabric right here similar to like the Walmart reusable blue bags but these come from hydroponic store Savannah hydroponics where I get my stuff locally and I'm sure you guys have local places like that too but they're real nice and what they do is they air prune the roots so they don't grow out and when the air hits it prunes the roots they spread out even more and you get a larger root system and in theory, larger plant, healthier plant, healthier root ball. Uh, 
instead of being root bound, air prunes and they spread out and the roots spread out and grow even more. Um, and um, another variety. That's about it on this little video. Um, hope you guys take care. And you see, I got to pressure wash the house, man. Got some rain and humidity, man. Causes friggin' mildew and crap. But um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, you guys take care and uh, see you guys soon. All right, bye bye.